Once upon a time, there was a seven-year-old boy whose father let him skip school so that he could spend the day at work with him. His father's job on March 29, 1956, was to drive a charter bus to Tampa Airport to pick up the world champion Brooklyn Dodgers. And as this little boy stood at the bottom of the airplane's ramp, he would meet some of the players whose baseball cards he carried with him. The last two players to exit the plane were Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella. Jackie asked the flat-top youngster with the greased-up hair if he'd like baseball, and then told him, if you practice real hard, maybe one day you'll become a Dodger. And Roy Campanella added, listen, son, you have to study hard and work hard, and someday you can be a Dodger. Sounds like a pretty good day for the young lad, doesn't it? Well, the story gets even better. The next task for his father was to drive the Dodgers to St. Petersburg for an exhibition game with the Yankees. And upon arrival, the clubhouse manager asked if the kid would like to be their bat boy that day. Well, as he laid out the bats and the helmets, he turned and watched in awe as the Yankees' Mickey Mantle took batting practice. And then the Dodgers' great first baseman, Gil Hodges, asked the young boy if he would like to play catch with him. Well, at the tail of this lucky youngster's excellent day of hooky ended at this point, it would still be a remarkable story, but we're barely past chapter one. You see, this seven-year-old boy would get the opportunity to serve as one of the Dodgers' spring training bat boys for the next six to seven years. And then, on June the 6th, 1968, he would be drafted by the Dodgers. Of course, not every player drafted by a baseball team makes it to the major leagues, but this young man did. He'd make his debut September the 1st, 1969, against the New York Mets. The Mets were managed that year by the Dodger who 13 years earlier asked the kid if he wanted to play catch with him. Mm-hmm, Gil Hodges. 14 of his 19 seasons in the majors were spent as a Dodger. His career accolades include 10 All-Star appearances, four Gold Glove awards, the 1974 National League MVP, and in 1981, he would become a world champion. He was a model of consistency. In fact, the majority of his Dodger career was spent as the anchor at first base for the most enduring infield in baseball history, the same position that Hodges played. This is the kind of story that you refer to as a legend and that is totally appropriate. For today, we are inducting this child of destiny as a legend of Dodger baseball. Congratulations, Steve Garvey.